Jane. Hello. We're back. We're back. It's Hello. Easter Monday. Hello. Welcome to Natasha Makes on Easter Monday. Chocolate day. Chocolate day. Are you in a chocolate coma? I'd like to be. <laughs> <laughs> you will be. I will be. You will be. Shortly. But first, we have a block to show. We do. If you missed Friday's show, where were you? What were you doing? Eating your hot cross buns, I should imagine. But we were busy here doing this, yes. weren't we? We have got this beautiful quilt. We have. The quilt itself was made by the wonderful people at Macawa. There's a person on the tag, I'm sure. Yes. We haven't got that down there somewhere <laughs> but whoever it was that made this you did a beautiful job it's a lovely lovely quilt um it's the pool party quilt designed by lynn goldsworthy yeah using the pool party fabrics from macau uk they've loaned us the sample you've been having a go though jane i have i've you been making little making. samples you if have? you saw me on monday you'll know that i friday. only <laughs> it's today's monday <laughs> if you today. saw me on friday <laughs> i need chocolate um you'll know that i only managed to get half the block made because i left half of my pieces in the workroom <laughs> so that's it finished so ah. you can see it's come together beautifully so you made life boy most of that one that's yes. the life boy block you also made jane we made the parasol, the parasol block, block which was this one here that's right which is lovely made with templates there's a lot of template work within this quilt but not difficult no. um just i said before read through the pattern before you start, read through it several times so that you're aware because although there's cutting instructions to start, you have to do a lot of template work, cutting and drawing around templates. So if you're like me and you like to have everything in set up before you start, I think it makes life easier. You might want to just read through the pattern, read through it again and then cut all of the pieces out before you start. Then you've got everything in your hands. And you can see here, we've got the, we're gonna make the house block. You can see I've got everything in bags labelled. Yeah, I'm going to go into overhead because I'm going to very quickly explain for you all. You're thinking, well, the pattern, what pattern? Where do I find the pattern? Yes. Everything you need to make this quilt, we have as a kit. I mean, this is assuming everything didn't sell out the other day. We tried to make sure we had enough quantity for everyone. So if you do go on to the website and find it's gone, then um, sauce babes. But we did buy plenty, or so we thought. This kit here is enormous, absolutely beautiful kit, and this will make your pool party quilt, or maybe another item of your choosing. But you get your instructions, all of your fabrics that will do your quilt top and your binding. Within the instructions, you then have cutting instructions, your assembly instructions, but you also have, Jane, many, 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 many fabulous templates. Absolutely, do you yes. And instructions on what to do with them. So maybe you want your template plastic to be able to trace these off. That's a good idea, I'd have said. Maybe you're old school and you're a cardboard person. We're not judging. Absolutely fine. But we do like a bit of template plastic here because it just allows you to keep tracing off and reusing. But all of that there, that pattern with all those templates, it's a Macawa UK pattern, it is a free one, but we have printed you a copy and included it in your kit. It's a beautiful quilt. I can see this being used time and time again for garden parties, beach parties. Yes. You're gonna, you know, it's gonna be a, a nice one to keep bringing out every summer. It is. For the children to sit and play on. And it also has in it this beautiful double-edged border that is my absolute We're favorite. We're loving this border. Do you want to show the beach bag bag I do. again? I because do, I do, I do. The double-edged border's been used in this quilt. It's also been used in the making of the beach bag. Now, if we have beach bag kits left, then I'd grab those. Absolutely. It's a brilliant, great big beach bag. And we've got, we have got also our robes here. Now, these are our Jedi robes. Again, I don't know how much stock we have left of these. Um, but they are one size, really snugly warm, and the more you wash them, the softer they get. But they are lovely to throw over, yeah. and they roll up, and they'll go in there. They'll no go bother. in there, and you'll have, still have plenty of no room for your book and your sunglasses and your suntan lotion. Look at that. Sure. It's gorgeous. It's so also have, yeah. got a little pouch that goes with it, so, you know, you put your purse your in there, in, keep it safe. Keep your phone nice and, you know, dry. <coughs> Excuse the me. The kit itself for this, you get the fabric that you need and you get some of the hardware as well. It may be that you want to upgrade, as this one has, put some little swanky bag feet on the bottom. 
you can source those separately. We do also have a side as well that you can purchase to go with this, a interfacing kit. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got your um, Starville fix for the body of it. You've got some H640 in there. You've got a little bit of um, medium interfacing. weight interfacing yep. as well for when you're inserting your magnetic snaps. You get your double-edged border, which gives you the body. You've got the stripe here, which is for the base of the bag. The actual straps have come out of the double-edged border itself. Yeah. So if you see in the overhead, when we go there, you can see <laughs> it's gone here, but yeah. not there. How peculiar. The bag there itself uses about that much of the fabric. And so you'll have this piece. It's a double-edged border, so it's on both sides. You'll have a, quite a good strip of fabric in the middle there that makes your straps beautifully. Um, we haven't been able to, to get the um, lining that they've used in Macau, so we've put one of our planes, we've put our lovely corn yellow, because we felt it just sunny picks that up, yeah. a nice sunshiny colour. You've got your piece of fabric there for your base with the stripes. Every kit will contain those three. And then we've got two fat eights. Now these are the ones that were used in the original, but we may you may find that there'll be similar fabrics but of different colours. They'll all be from the collection, so they'll go blend beautifully because the collection has a little bit of all of the border in it in it some does. form or another. It does. So maybe <coughs> parrot fabric, which would be Jane's preference, because she absolutely loves the parrot fabric. We'd have never have guessed from this block, no. would we? Um, it may be that you get the ice cream fabric or one that has all the lovely little different icons on it. Yeah. Um, but they will allow you to make your little pouch inside and it will go beautifully. Now, the thing with your bag kit and also with your quilt kit is they are on an absolutely crazy discount. So if you're watching this show and the stock has already gone, I'm really sorry, but it we just tried. means that everyone went crazy. But we have tried to get plenty of stock so that hopefully you can still grab your bargain today. Absolutely. It's around a third off the RRP for these kits. That is, is just crazy. <laughs> crazy. It is bonkers. Does Natasha um, know? Does Natasha know what you've been she, doing with she, her kits? She's kit? negotiated and, 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 and no, not really, but that's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Um, we also do have the fabrics up cut to order by the half metre and they're just lovely. They are so fantastic to be able to use for your summery makes. This dress here was made using the double-edged border. This part here in the bodice, again, has come from that central part of the double-edged border. Yeah. This is just the stripe that you saw that also was the base of the beach bag. It's not our pattern. We will have this in the comments so that you can find it. It's a pattern by someone very, very talented who doesn't work here, sadly. <laughs> yes, otherwise she'd shame. be demonstrating right, right, it. Them in <laughs> because that's beautiful. Um, but you could also, just as easily, if you wanted to have a more simplistic make for your little one, you might want to make Natasha's pillowcase dress. Yes, Emily's it would work dress. lovely, wouldn't it, with yeah. that fabric? You could have really good fun with that. It would be gorgeous. Yeah. We've shown you all our lovely wares. Mm -hmm. That's what we wanted to do. Make sure everyone knows what's available. And then, <coughs> Jane, I think you need to crack on with more quilt making. Yes, I'm going to show... block to show. Yeah, I'm going to show you how the house block goes together. And then I'm going to go over the basics of how this then the quilt is then constructed only very quick not quickly but simply just show you a small section of it just yeah. so that you can get an idea of how it goes together yeah. because I think looking at it you might be thinking well how could a circle become a square and all of that if you watched on Monday you'll see how I can Friday oh. today's Monday today's the Monday from weeks no. and weeks of no chocolate and sweet I've things. had too many granddaughter cuddles I can't think of anything else um a lack of sugar a lack of sugar and, and a lots new of cuddles it's completely thrown it in. has no day of the week the is. construction <laughs> of the quilt is very similar to the construction of the life boy uh, part the corners are done in a similar way yeah and there are lots of um dark marks on it to line it up so okay. again, I'll, I will, we'll go over that in a little bit more detail. And if you missed Friday's show, it's <coughs> available to watch back. But Lynn did a great job with writing this pattern of making that quite straightforward. There was lots, lots of, of information of on the yes. templates. There's lots of reference points on it. 
and it's explained very carefully in the pattern. The pattern is not a beginner's make. It's not a very, it's not straightforward, but I'm not, it's not, com it's not completely beyond you. If you know, you've made a couple of quilts, you'll be able to do this no problem. The instructions are concise and they will show you exactly step by step. There's um, points in um, bold type that just draw your attention to the bits that you need to, to really concentrate on. Marvellous. Tells you how to put all the templates together, which template goes where and what you're cutting out. You've got all the cutting instructions here. Some of the pieces you just cut into strips to then use with your templates and that's straightforward. There's letters attached to some of the, the pieces which are used generally in the in the block and they're referred to in, in the instructions. So yeah, just give it a good read through. Make sure that you're, you're completely comfortable with how everything goes together and what pieces you need for what. Um, and you know, try and be a little bit organised, get things labelled, put in stash it stacks, because this is not a quilt you're going to make over a weekend. This is probably a quilt that you're going to make a few blocks for, put it to one side, go back to it, do the next part, put that to one side, then put it together and then finally quilt it and bind it. Um, but it's going to be a quilt that you're going to love and if you gift it to somebody they'll adore it. But it's one that you'll have within the family and I think you'll you'll use it every summer it'll come out for sure. for sure to be made into tents or table cover or to sit on in the garden while I have a picnic nice. all of those things really lovely so the house block it's quite straightforward it's all strips and squares which is quite nice um you first of all you're going to have some of your um print fabric that you'll have cut the strips according to the pattern and a piece of your background fabric and we're going to cut, we're going to sew those into into strip sets of three. Mm -hmm. So a pattern piece either side oh, of your white background fabric. Lovely. So quarter of an inch mm -hmm. seam is used throughout the pattern. I do My love to see how these things off. go together. It's yes. interesting, isn't it? Well, because when you look at a pattern, well, you're really <coughs> good, Jane, and you've got vast, vast number of years of experience, <laughs> so you can look at something and say, well, that goes together like this. But sometimes I, I can see it, and sometimes I, I have to look at it for a while, and, and I was intrigued with this, because okay. when I looked at it, first of all, I was like, hmm, that's curves, that's <laughs> nice. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, don't be frightened of curves. It's very cleverly constructed. It's very cleverly constructed. There's lots of handy hints and tips and reference points within the pattern to make sure you get it put together cor correctly. And if you follow the Lynn's pattern step by step, you're not going to go wrong. Um, it's just being methodical and working it through. And as I say, if you can get all your pieces cut and labelled and kept in the right place, you'll have no problem at all, really. <coughs> You've always said this to me, Jane, is just, you know, take your time and prepare it and then yeah. be methodical. Yeah, I think... And it will go together. The preparation is, is the biggest thing, and particularly with this one, there's quite a lot of components within it, but I think if you get those all cut and, you know, put in bags or pinned together, you've got them all there in front of you and you can quick, you know, the, the, the actual blocks and the construction are not complicated. I think the the most part of this in this quilt is cutting your templates out and um, you know cutting your pieces because a lot of it because it's template cutting you're going to be cutting it with scissors not necessarily rotocritter so that takes a little bit longer. Okay. Just going to move these pieces yeah, no, out of the way. Kit in the way. It's rather I beautiful. Want it next to me. It's I know beautiful. it's just gorgeous. We just love it. <clears throat> so we're going to press these pieces away now, and we're going to just press them so that the um, seam falls under the under colour the piece on either side. Okay. That's lovely. Okay. You sure? That's great, yeah, sure? that's fine. <laughs> I think this, this seems twisted on that one side, but that's okay. So we've got these strip sets now, and while Gemma just cuts that, um, irons that other one. I could cut it. I think you might have My mouth's not working. 
bit. Um, we're going to cut that into three segments, equal segments, as per the pattern. So we have three pieces. So we've, we've got have six. Windows. We've got six pieces Thank like so. <clears throat> Just lining up one of the lines on my ruler along that seam line there to make sure that I'm actually getting it straight. Gotcha. So then we've got these segments here. And then we've got um, the background square. See, I've got all my pieces labelled here and here. And we're just going to we just make sure I've got this right. We're going to sew. either side like that so two of these two of those center background squares and you'll still have two pieces there left over oh, so we're going to sew these it. either side <coughs> amazing i see it i see it it is it's lovely it's like this <laughs> dawning of recognition you're like because at first you're like oh, it's still this like is a me. these are long pieces why are these in it there's no long pieces like this in it it's still like magic for me. I know we call you the stitchy witch, but it is still that, you know, confused toddler face and then the magician waves the wand. Yeah. And the, oh, where'd that come from? That's well, this like is a, me and you. This is, <laughs> this, is li this is Lynn's magicness on this, on this pattern. It's very oh. clever. Love it. So while I do the next one, would you mind pressing oh. those? I think if we try and press them so that the seam goes under the blue. Yeah, that's fine. That would be lovely. Thank you. And I'll just carry on sewing this part here for the next set. Because I really do want to get on to the basics of the construction so that we can see how that will come together. You are working with some small pieces, so I think, you know, to prepare your fabric before you start with some of your best press, flatter, spray starch, whatever it is that you use will be really useful. So I need now the roof strips of the background. There it is, the last bag. <coughs> This is like torture, Jane, the little sweetie bags with no sweets. Yes. Rude, Oops, I'll sorry. Sister, Where's the mini eggs, Jane? I love a mini egg. Oh, you know? we do love a mini egg. My husband doesn't see the point of them. You know, marvellous, more go. for me. Yeah. <laughs> so we're now going to sash, put a piece of sash in between those two blocks. And then once we've done that, we're going to put one to the top and one to the bottom. Great. Now, it's Natasha's absolute favourite chocolate, isn't it? Easter egg chocolate. Yes. And she's right. It's got a higher... It's actually got a higher fat content to it, which makes it richer. <laughs> so, so you get... Easter egg. That gets that nice snap of your chocolate. And it's slightly thicker, isn't it? Yes. I'm salivating now, Jane. This is a bad idea. Oh, my name. I'm just like... <laughs> oh, Mr. Just take egg. As long, does it to start talking food? I don't know. Yeah. Literally 10, what, 10.18? 10, are we 10.19? <laughs> and here we are talking food. Doesn't take long. Never. Never far away where we're concerned. No. Nope. Natasha's as bad. We're all foodies here. Look at this coming together. It doesn't take too long. And as I say, you know, this, the most of this quilt is the preparation of it. Making sure you've got your templates joined because some of the templates you have to join together. There's a nice red line on the okay. on the pattern so you can see where the, they join. Gotcha. So not difficult to join them. I really like this particular block though, this house block. I just think it's a really versatile one. And if you did have someone who was moving into a new home, you'd oh, be able wouldn't to make it make a this. cushion or something? Yeah. Let's make them a nice new cushion. We can just press lovely, that so it? that it's just nice and some home sweet home situation. Yeah. Isn't it? Just 
feel everyone having a cringe at me moving the iron across it, but I'm lifting and dropping, <laughs> lifting and dropping, I'm not gliding. So we're now Smashing. going to sew the sashing strip to the top and the bottom of that. You can see how that now yeah, okay. forms those top two floors of window, yeah. which is rather clever, isn't Amazing. it? Of course, take your time and you can pin this before you sew it. Of course. Um, you don't have time for such shenanigans, <coughs> Sew those to the top and the bottom of those two Lovely. strip sets. And you've got half a house, Jane. Yeah. <laughs> got the top two stories. It's lovely, yeah. isn't it? Just needs a roof and a ground floor. We're all good. This has come together really quickly. I am astonished, Jane. It's amazing, really, when you stop and see how it's constructed. It's really yeah. lovely. So I'm just going to press that those two strips up and away from there. Sure. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go on to the next step, which is um, the base of the doors, of the windows rather, the bottom part. And we've got um, two squares. You can see I've got quite a few pieces already cut. There are some that aren't cut already, but I've got my sashing strips, so I know which one's which. So just going to join those two pieces there to the bottom of that house there. We have been trying to use words other than lovely, haven't we, Jane? We have. We do say lovely a lot. But unfortunately, but then everything is lovely. Yeah, <laughs> surrounded by many lovely things. Full of loveliness yes. in our warehouse. So it is difficult for us. And everything <laughs> is. We, we, it's a constant effort. We are trying. We're trying harder not to say lovely all the time. <laughs> Thinking of n words as, as, as lovely as lovely. Yeah, um, yeah it is. Gorgeous. Gorgeousness. Gorgeous is to do with being brightly coloured though, isn't it? Yeah. So it's got to be relevant there. And pretty, and sometimes the fabrics are lovely, but they're not necessarily pretty yeah. fabrics. Which doesn't mean that they're not nice, they're just... And they're beautiful, but everything's lovely. It is. We can just give that a press and just press that. That's lovely. Lovely. <laughs> That's lovely, that. That's lovely. lovely. So we're going to do that, and then we need the strip that goes in between. This is what is the door. So that goes in between there. So we're going to sew those two pieces now that. to that centre strip there. Brilliant. This is fab, Jane. It's a lovely block, it really is. And like you say, this is the sort of block that you'll go back to, I think, mm -hmm. and, and make cushions with. And, you know, even a little quilt just made with houses would look well, rather lovely, wouldn't it? I have to say, I am looking at this thinking you could make many houses in Christmas fabrics. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see a plan coming together. Yeah, do you like a Christmas make me? I can just hear people screaming at the telly. Gemma, it's Easter. I know. In. It's never too early to think about your Christmas makes. It certainly isn't. Especially if it's a quilt. And I just, I think quilting and Christmas just go together beautifully. They do. It's the time you want to snuggle under a quilt, isn't it? Absolutely. There's something about festive makes. Yeah, for sure. I had the most beautiful quilt made for me by John Cole Morgan for last Ooh, Christmas. Oh, lovely. Very there lovely girl I am. It's a beautiful winter star quilt and I snuggle under it on the regular with my two little dachshunds. Oh, how lovely. So, we're going to now that. join that to that. <gasps> Jane! How quickly has that come together? Really quickly, Jane. Really, really quickly, Jane. It's amazing and it's, you know, strips and squares and the next thing you know you've got a house. Not even 25 minutes past 10. Amazing. We've nearly got a house. Hey? Okay. 
If only life were that easy. <laughs> you, watch, uh, you watch anyone else create a house in less than 25 minutes, Jane. And yeah. we had a chat to start with. We did. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so we're going to press that now and I'm pressing towards that sashing strip just because there's less seams there and it okay. just lines up nicely. So you're pressing towards this one? Yeah, just press that way if you wouldn't mind. Okay. So then we take our strip that's for our roof and you've got several, I think we might have parrots on the roof of this one. Got several different strips. People are a I, fan of the parrot. I do love the parrot. We've got a parrot house. Now you're having a parrot roof. Absolutely. So we've got the background squares and I've marked a diagonal across from corner to corner on those squares. I'm going to place these squares in the corner of that strip with the diagonal lines running towards the middle of the strip. Nice. You can always pop a pin in just to keep those in place as you sew and we're going to sew on the line of these ones on the line across that diagonal on one side <coughs> and then on the other got a frog in your throat i just got a little bit of a oh, <coughs> that's no good that's not good is it Eat a hot chocolate Absolutely. A hot chocolate with a side of Easter egg. That works. Doesn't that it? works for me every time. <laughs> so we've got those. We're sewn on that line. We're just going to trim quarter of an inch away from that line now, towards the corner. Don't be tempted to trim this side because you'll wreck the roof. And you'll be really cross. <coughs> no one needs to be wrecking the roof. No. Not this time in the morning. Jane, there is something very satisfying. I don't know why. Perhaps other people find it satisfying. I love when I've sewn a seam and I'm cutting a quarter of an inch away Wait from it, seeing that little lovely neat... Yes, there is something about it, I don't yes. know what it is. And the creative grids are great for this. Well they're perfect because they've got that little frosted edge that is yeah. the actually, actually the quarter of an inch, so it's exactly. easily seen and it's just, you know, takes all the, the, the worry much. away from it, doesn't it? Yes. So we're just going to press those up. Marvellous. And a way to reform that rectangle <coughs> up and away fabulous what was it we were saying the other day up, up and away yeah in my beautiful balloon so that then is sewn <laughs> onto the top of there this is song why there. i don't sing that's <laughs> a little easter <coughs> song there jane everyone can sing i say i sing beautifully in the car when i'm on my own yeah. absolutely perfect and in the shower. My lovely stepdaughter, she, uh, she sends me videos quite often. It's like one of those, you know, the girl singing to herself and it's how I sound in my own head and it'd be like Mariah Carey. Or yes. And then it cuts to actually how she does sound. Yeah. She was blessed with the most beautiful voice, but she has, what, what she lacks in singing ability, she more than makes up for an enthusiasm, Jane. Well, that's good. She loves it. Loves a good sing song, which is great because so do I. We all so you're going to press that towards that sashing strip just okay. because it will sit flatter. Then we've got some strips of um, sashing strips. And we're going to sew the two long ones to the sides, each side. You have a hoose. And have then hoose. we've got two slightly shorter ones which we then sew to the top and the bottom and I'll quickly get those on yeah, and then you can see the finished block of the house <laughs> and as you, I say you know organisation it has everything in pieces like that and it just makes life so much easier and a lot quicker and these really do look like those beautiful beachfront houses don't they you know the yes the, the ones, ones that overlook the beach and you think oh I want to live in one of those yes they're mostly now hotels because nobody can afford to live this in one of them. So <laughs> but they're always, you know, those nice tall houses and they look out across yeah. the beach. Maybe yes, you live in a one. Dream. Do. A dream to live in a house oh, like that. They're very envious. I love going to Brighton and I love the houses that are all along the seafront there. I've not been. Oh, Brighton's lovely. Oh, you're the worst in the south thing. 
Officer, Mr Thomas, please take me to Brighton. Is yeah. That what I need to do. Okay. I love it because it's supposedly the vegetarian capital of Europe. Okay. And, you know, sometimes it's difficult to find somewhere to eat that's got a good vegetarian choice, but not in, not in Brighton. It's just oh, excellent. every shop. It's lovely. I love it. Jane, like a ninja today. I am. I went to go <laughs> to and then I've gone back to the machine trying to keep up with you. Trying to keep up with me. There's a lot of sewing. I really want to get and show you how it all goes together. Yeah, that's for sure. This is a fantastic opportunity though to make a really big project for very little money. Yes, because you've got such a good deal, haven't you, on the kit? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Absolutely I think fabulous. An unprecedented deal. Absolutely incredible. If we can press those away from the house, that would be lovely. Thank we'll you. Press them away from the house. Just give that a say that tweak one down tweak. there. Yeah. That's it. Got it. Fabulous. Ta da! We'll turn that round. Do the same on that side. There we go. Sometimes it just doesn't away want to go the way. From the house. That's it. <coughs> yeah, douche told. Go where we say. All right, Jane. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes you might find that your strip doesn't is a bit longer. You can just trim that down. I don't it's know why right. it's done it on one side and not on the other. It just has. I might have just not cut it the right way when I was doing it. It's just not even a quarter of an inch, but it just it's helps. Not enough to, to work what you left. It isn't. No. And so these strips then go across the top and the bottom. And that gives you your house block. I can't believe how quickly that's come together. We are only just over half an hour into the show, and we showed the kits, and we had a chat, and you, there you are with your house block done. Yeah. Okay. It's a really it? simple. I think, you know. I don't think any of the blocks are, are particularly difficult, um, but this one is the the quickest to make, I think, the house block. And as, as we've just said, you know, it's the sort of block that you'll go back to yeah. because it will become... And I think this is sometimes what you can get from a pattern. You can get a quilt pattern <clears throat> and it's got several blocks in it and you might find a block that you really take to and you think, well, actually, I can use this in other projects cool. as well as the beautiful quilt. And that's always a bit of a bonus, isn't it, really, to have extra Definitely. extra potential from a pattern. And Jane, in the finished pool party quilt, there are eight of these houses that go yes. around the centre block, aren't they? They do, yeah. So we can just press that up and away. That'd be lovely. <coughs> lovely. Let we see again. Lovely. lovely. <laughs> Things are lovely. We can't help it if they're lovely. Nope, we can't. We can't help it. So... We're now going to, we've made the life boy, boy, make the life boy block, can't say it, my teeth, <coughs> and we're going to sew that to the top of one of the house blocks. We might as well sew it to the one we just made. Yeah. So, just line those up. If it's just a little bit shorter, don't worry, just centralise it, because We've got a sli slight little wiggle on here. You've got a bit of manoeuvrability because you've got that little bit of stretch within your um, block anyway. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that it is sort of central um, and it lines up so you've got it within your seam allowance if it is short. And Jane, when you have got one block that's perhaps coming up eh, so slightly bigger than the other, is there a way up that you'd put them through the machine? I would always put the one that's slightly bigger on the bottom. Okay. Just because the feed dogs will just give it a little bit of a pull in as you're sewing. Oh. I don't know why that works, yeah. but it does. I do remember you saying this a while ago, and it does seem to have served me quite well. I'm just checking that I've yeah. actually remembered it correctly. But it does seem to make a difference, you know, if there's just an ever such tiny Yeah, little just a little discrepancy. If it feels a little bit bigger, yeah. put the bigger piece on the bottom. So, sewn that to there. And then we've got, 
Um, is. You've got a D template. Now, D template is, if I can find the... It's a slight curve. There's this is D template here. Okay. It's got a very gentle curve on it. Um, and we've cut those. <clears throat> I'm just going to find them under here. There we are. Little note to myself on there. I just, I literally did these like you would do a dressmaking pattern and put the paper on the top and then cut round okay. them. Um, there's a little down. notch on there. It's red on your pattern because mm -hmm. I photocopied mine. It's come out grey, but I matched that notch. Just cut a little triangle out of it in the seam allowance. Like you um, dressmaking. Yeah, just to remind me that's the piece. And that goes with that flat edge towards the life boy block. Again, just um, centralise that if it's slightly bigger. But you will find that, if I put this down on here, you will find when you line that up there, that it's slightly wider mm -hmm. on there. Don't panic because when you open that out, it's just going to come straight because of that curve. Just angles out just very slightly and all okay. will become clear. We've said, haven't we, that this would not necessarily be the first quilt you'd ever make? No, I don't, I don't think, I think, I'm not saying don't do it as your first quilt, but what I'm saying is if you do do it as your first quilt, have someone on hand who is an experienced quilter that can just give yeah. you some advice um, and just take your time. Just take your time and work your way through it gently. But and if you're a dressmaker, this might suit you quite well. Yes, curved seams, you'll have, you know, if you put a sleeve into a garment, you'll have no problem with curved yeah. seams. So we just press that up and away, and that is the one segment of the quilt there. Amazing. Um, the house, the parasol block, you're going to need to cut some pieces. Again, you've got your templates that go with that. Lynn's given you a lovely layout of how to cut those. You'll have cut from your background, you'll have cut your strip, and then it tells you exactly how to put the templates on and how to cut those because you need reverse. Obviously, because we're using a plane, it's not so necessary to have a reverse because both sides are pretty much the same. There's not much different with our planes as to the front and the back. But if you've got a pattern or a self-pattern fabric, you need to make sure you've got the reverse. Mm -hmm. So those go together. Um, <clears throat> got more pieces under here, just make sure I get the right pieces. You've been busy. There's I have. A lot of prep There's a lot of prep there. under I here. See, I can see a lollipop house. I can see all sorts going on. This is very exciting. Um, we will need, you're going to cut the template of a wider one. Now that template, again, is in, in the instructions, but you place, you make it in half and you place that half on the fold. And again, I don't know if you can see, but I've cut the little notches Clever. in there. You're going to need your template F and you need to get, need one that faces one way and one that faces the opposite way and then um, there you are there's template H look you can see I've cut all the pieces already so that sort of sits on one side and then when you open it out it gives you the full piece and then you're going to need your template G I'm going to use template G more than once so you might want to make it onto I don't think you'll get it from a piece of our template plastic because our template plastic is A4 and this yeah, is bigger. bigger isn't it? So you might just want to make a cardboard template for that. Although Natasha has put bits of template plastic together with tape before yes, now. Yes, that is feasible. I mean admittedly that wasn't the design of it, she just <coughs> cut through all of her templates, cut it in a good chunk of it and then there were some words said, James, <laughs> words that you should not say. I can imagine. But she stuck it back together and it's faring really well. <laughs> <laughs> this is it works, doesn't it? Um, we're Need going to work. sew these half triangles either side of our parasol block.
I'm going to press those away from the block. Just move this house one and the life boys out of the way. I'll move that up there. Okie dokie. And we'll press that up and away. Beautiful. From there and on that side too. Fabulous. And the same on that side. Wonderful. Then we're going to sew our G triangle across the bottom along there. So right sides together. Now again, it's going to be quarter of an inch bigger either side. Okay. If you want to be sure that it's in the middle, you can do what we do. You can fold that in half, give it a little pinch at the top there, and you can fold this block in half here and give that a little pinch. And then you can make sure that those pinches line up and you'll be sure then that this triangle is in the middle of that section there. Fabulous. And of course you can pin it. So Jane, as much as there's lots of different components, so long as you know which bit is which and yep. you're paying attention to the instructions and using the correct part, this isn't difficult. This is a lot of straight line sewing here. Now. It is, yeah. There's, there's <clears throat> there is nothing that will phase you. Because it looks really complicated how it's put together, but actually if I'm seeing that you just need to make sure you're picking the right piece, sewing the straight lines with your quarter inch seam allowance, pressing it and just respecting it, then yep. actually... Yeah, absolutely. I think the key to this is giving it a good read through, Yes. making your templates, cutting your pieces and keeping your pieces in piles so that you know which yeah. piece is which and where. There are a couple of pieces that are quite similar and it would be easy to get them muddled. Yeah. And you can see now that that piece is going to go on to there. And the thing is as well, you know, you can watch back on today's show and Friday's show. Jane is here for you, always. And if you get the pattern and there's something that you don't quite understand, Feel free to email us at info at Natasha Makes. If we can help, we will. Sure. We're not always saying that we can help, but we will. And we will try our best. We always will. To info give the help Natasha that you Makes. need. Com. Yeah. Because the last thing we want is to sell you a product and then you oh, not no. be very sure how it works or what you're supposed to do with it. So, you know. I think we've had lots of comments in the past that we've gone above and beyond and, you know, it's actually very helpful, so... We it's treat people any. how we like to be treated ourselves. That's cool. our, our key, I think. And, you know. Absolutely. So now you can see that we've got like a, a wedge shape with the parasol block. We move that away. It's like a nice. Dairy Lee slice. There we are talking about food again. <laughs> there, <laughs> it there it is. There's Every some time. Soft cheese <laughs> slice. Lovely. There we go. That's lovely. Thank you, Gemma. <laughs> lovely. All lovely. Oh, it's all lovely. Lovely, lovely cheese. Lovely, lovely pressing. Lovely everything. It's all lovely. Lovely fabrics. So, the final part that you need to make construction wise is your centerpiece here that creates that lovely. Yeah. Um, also lovely. Lovely. <laughs> lovely. Eight sided. What's an eight sided? Octagon. Octagon. Yeah. Got it in my head then that eight octagon was nine. Nope. Octagon. So like this. Octopus, eight legs. Yes, of course. <laughs> Think about it logically. Yeah, it's all right. You've got your center. Your double edged border there. This Look. is template template G. Ah. So what I'm saying is you've got the potential to make some bunting here. Yeah. Because you want to have it all going the same way. It's all in the instructions. But this bit here, why not chop that off and make it into bunting? That's all I'm saying. Um I use some of the centre bit, centre triangles some of my um, piecing in my um, life boys and in my house block yeah 
the instructions are there so you can do that um, any waste bits from this i would be popping in my epp stash well yeah you've got lots English of potential papers. there there's still quite a lot of usable fabric within that piece um you need eight of your g triangles um, that's why I said, you know, you might want to make your G into a more solid template, you know, put, paste this onto card or something like that, or like Gemma said, take two pieces of um, template plastic together to make it. How lovely, though, would it be to have your matching bunting? And like you say, no additional fabric cost there. No, matching it's just there, isn't it? go with this. We've backed bunting in calico before now as well to give it some yeah. stability so you don't need an interfacing. It's really, really inexpensive. Really inexpensive. You're um, going to amazing. So it's you're going to construct this centre part the same way as you constructed your parasol block. So you make eight of your triangles. You sew those together <gasps> in pairs, no. and then you sew the two together to make a half, and then you join the two halves. Oh, Jane, that looks lovely. Um, it is rather lovely. I chose. It is rather lovely. Oh, no, we can't stop, stop it. saying it. I um, to ban the word. Love your swear jar, but for the word lovely. <laughs> but it really is lovely. It is gorgeous. gorgeous. <laughs> um, I tried to cut the same section out of four pieces and the same section out of a different four. So I got a sort of variation, but the same, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. It does. Um, alternating them. I really wanted to get the parrot in because I love the parrots. <laughs> so you'll do that. You'll make your octagon. You then, um, once you've got your octagon made, uh, <coughs> excuse me, made your octagon. Um, fuse and da 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 da. No, I've gone too far. That's all right. So the eight houses and life boy sections to each side of the central octagon. So you've got these sides here so your house block is sewn oh, okay. onto there Gosh, that. like yeah, that your little sashing strips already attached to the bottom of the house yeah i see that so you'll do all of your house blocks I think i've got one already made in here yes i have it is one i made earlier yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they will go like that which then leaves you I can just bring this down slightly. Let's make these instructions out of the way. On, on the pattern, <coughs> there's been a sort of alternating of the houses a little bit. Yes, so I mean, you've got different colours. So I've just have the two to the blue ones. Next one, I'd have. I've got. Yeah. You know, you have a dark blue one in between. You might I could put a pink one. one. Like that. There yeah. you go. Um, and then you put your wedge in between, and you'll sew down one side pivot and sew up the other side. Marvellous. This will then, if I move this out of the way, create a circular yes. shape. Like that fan shape. You'll make it, I would make it into quarters, so I would do this five, five sections. So there's three houses and then you're, if, you, if you're doing it, I'd, it's it's going to get be quite cumbersome as you're going round, but you'll be able to do it. Then, this is why I say cut all your pieces first, because you've got to <coughs> join your templates to make this corner. Okay. So you've got, and again, you've got these little markers. Now, sure. in the pattern, it tells you to to do these and from the remaining um, of the centre you're going to need to cut so you place this on the square of the background and you've got all of this shape in the middle mm -hmm. left over and and you're going to cut some of your um, strips for your um, bunting and your life boy and your parasols and your life boy from that remaining strip it tells you this this is why I think read through it see the bits that you need to cut you can see i've circled those bits there because if you start making and there is a little note on it here about um the white triangles pieces are cut in step 21 you may wish to skip ahead to, for that step now mm -hmm. 
just so that you've got um, that bit there and you can cut those pieces for the life buoy and for the um, parasol. Mark the blue dots on the fabric by taking small snips into the seam allowance. Do not discard this template at this stage, it will be needed again to mark the red dots because you can see on here, not all yeah. of them, but you've got red and blue dots. You've got to trace your um, template E, which is the one we use for the parasols, okay. um, on the red line. Okay. And that's your bunting. And you'll trace it onto the back of your fusible webbing and you'll cut out those pieces. And refer to the main diagram for the, the key for the fabrics that you'll use. You'll have all of those strips already cut and cut those out and then you cut those bunting shapes and you fuse those to the triangle, um, this one here, um, with the curved line of each, aligning the bottom edge of the triangle with the curved line of each and placing each bunting triangle between two of the blue dots. So you've got the blue dots here, so you would line that up within that seam allowance between the blue dots. So you've got the gap there. So you'd have your fabrics with those lined up along there. Great. Just, I would, if it were me, I would just bring them slightly over into the seam allowance, just yeah. a little bit, so that when you sewed them on, it would just sew that edge into the seam catch allowance, them keep, just catch them in. Yeah. And then you take um, this part here and you mark the red dots and so the four t templates together, like we did with the, the Life Boy block, so you're going to sew four of these big templates together, so you make that shape, that frame shape again. Mm -hmm. And then your red dots will line up with these sections within your quilt. Fabulous. So it all goes together all in a... these reference points in Yeah, there's happening. lots, it's there's it's lots of pieces. Into this she has. Sure. It's how to construct it. So you can see, I mean, that's only like a, a third of it, really, but that is how it will go. And you will have your pieces, your bunting oh, okay. pieces in that section there going along. Yes, and they're just appliqued on. It's they're just appliqued on. It's not and, a complicated um, thing, this. It's been sewn matching coloured thread, and it's been sewn with a button stitch round okay. the edge. And then it says in the instructions, sew the four templates together to form one large frame piece. Sew this to the centre circle, aligning the red dots on the frame with the red dots and the seams in the centre circle. So like the notches, basically, that we cut here, they'll line up with those red dots. Perfect. Um, then press, and then she's sewn a red zigzag stitch along the seam to finish the quilt top. Oh, she has as well. And it yes. just gives it a little bit of a frame. Yeah. You don't have to do that. No, but it, it does it give does, some differentiation. Because it sort of gives you yeah. the string of the bunting, if you like, I think. Well, also because your corner pieces have a white background. Yes. And your centre fabric background is yeah. white. It, it would just blend, wouldn't it? Yeah. And those triangles would just sort of sit there as triangles rather yeah. than looking like bunting. That's right. You're right. It just so it, it sort of gives the definition. definition and sort of finishes the quilt off nicely. She's layered it and then it's just... A filigree shape pattern for the quilting, so you can have really good fun with that. Just yeah. a wiggly squiggly, um, and then bound it. A wiggly squiggly quilter, then you can do what you like. You yeah, could echo you just echo quilt round the shapes. For one this size, you could pop it to the long arm quilt. Yeah, you? it and might be a bit over phasing. Yeah, it's seventy six by seventy six, so it's a big quilt. Especially it's a big with quilt. the cost saving that we've had. Yeah, it's, it is. Like you say, 76 by 76 is about 1.9 metres, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's just nearly, two meters, nearly each way. two metres square, yeah. But this is, this would be great to pop off to the long armours. Yes. You've made such a saving on those fabrics that you yeah, can justify that. You treat, treat yourself, yourself. yeah. I've you need to treat, have it quilted. Moment, I'm very excited. Oh, yes, you were choosing patterns, weren't you, earlier? Yes, and I'm very excited about it because sometimes it's nice to do. Yes. And if this is going to be an heirloom piece that, like you say, comes out whenever there's a family party or that gets passed down, etc. then yeah. why not? Exactly. Why not give it that little extra? 
And then I think the finishing touches, that stripey binding, it just gives it oh. that festive feel to it. Yeah. It really sort of lifts it. So oh, we yeah, like a stripey binding we anyway, love a stripey binding. We don't love need any it. excuse for nope. stripey binding. Love at a stripey all. binding. Oh, Jane. So it's a mammoth project. It is, but but not over phasing. And I think if you just take it step by step, work your way through the pattern. I think you need to read the pattern through two, three times just to get yourself um, au fait with the different bits of cutting, the templates that you need to use. But I think it's achievable. Just don't set yourself a target to have it made by this weekend. Do you know what I mean? And and they and then you set yourself up then to be disappointed because I don't think you'd get it done in a weekend. Maybe just you because. would if you didn't eat or sleep <laughs> or you know. Just but because it's a vast. Yeah. Not because you're going to get your knickers in a knot with it. No. Just because. The, I mean, it's the cutting as well, isn't it? Yeah. If you've got it all prepped, yeah. everything cut, lined up, and all of that. And you were just sewing then you could probably crack on yes and get it done yeah you could you yeah absolutely it's just that time spent taking your time cutting your fabrics and getting everything right absolutely um, but yes we have hopefully quilt kits available for you and bag kits available for you but if not these beautiful fabrics what is remaining has been put up cut to order as well yeah it's all there for you beautiful on this fantastic easter special Lovely. It, it's There's some beautiful. bargains, do, you know, don't miss out, that's all I can say to you. And as far as the bag goes, the bag kit, you know, we've explained what's in that kit. The actual construction of the bag, not a complicated make. No, it all, isn't. Jane. It's a straightforward. So if you are in love with these fabrics and you're not perhaps a quilter and you want a really cheery way to use this fabric, this is a gorgeous make. It and is. Again, it's a beautiful a bag, price. a lovely big roomy bag perfect for taking to the beach or doing your shopping with yeah it's really nice and it's a nice size the handles are just the right length to Natasha's get everything done, in Natasha's done a beach bag for yes us. we've and, got a beautiful um, beach bag pattern it will be a similar construction yeah. you know it's not this isn't a difficult thing to make my friend Vicky's taken up sewing very very recently um, and the beach bag was one of the first things she made at our beach bag it's smaller than this one so maybe you're looking at this and thinking that's massive and I wouldn't necessarily make um, the huge one. You've got the option to buy fabrics here and make your own beach bag using Natasha's pattern. You also have the option of buying that bundle and skipping to yourself that you've got a fantastic deal, but then using, using the Natasha's pattern yeah. and using the fabric, yeah. having that leftover fabric um, in your stash. Yeah, absolutely. But it deserves to be a fabulous beach bag slash dress slash something to be celebrated absolutely and that's why it lives right at the heart of that quilt yeah where it can be shown off it's lovely a really nice idea jane like you say of how to use your double edge borders so any yeah. double edge borders in your stash you're buying the quilt kit today you're going to have the pattern and to make that octagon it's yeah really effective it's way very to clever use edge border. it is really lovely it is lo really nice great oh jane it's lovely i don't know so it's easter monday yeah, we haven't finished my Easter Tomorrow eggs now. Tomorrow we've got Natasha, I believe. I yes. believe. Yes. <laughs> Wednesday we've got you, I believe. Yes, I'm back. Oh. It's block of the month again. We're all over the shop, I we're tell back you. In, we're in June on Wednesday. We're back to, we're June. Yes. June flowers. Not Beautiful. actual June, doing no. June block. <laughs> yes. We're <laughs> two it's April. <laughs> we're two months in from with the block of the month. The we thinking are. being Calendar that... Quotes you'll get your kit and your fabrics and you can make the block ready for yes. June. Yes. So that's where we're, we're at with the block of the month, the calendar yeah. quilt. So that's where we'll be on Wednesday. Beautiful. And we've got your buddlier within that June oh, block, yes. haven't we? And a yep. supply and some daisies. It's going to be great. There's some fantastic applique techniques within these, different types of applique, that yes. whole project, isn't there? Which is enhanced by a bit of free motion embroidery, which we'll talk about. Marvellous. We love Talk all of fun. that. But yes, time to go and eat all the chocolate now, Jane. She's yes. a good girl. I've all been the way saving myself. <laughs> saving yourself. I'm just going to go and gorge myself on chocolate now. Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> you deserve it. Because you're very sweet and lovely yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. And Natasha should be here. Yes. If she's not, I might be us again. You never That's know. That's all right. That's fine we'll too. Be fine We're with a lovely that. little team here. We're all looking after each other. Thank you for joining us. Have a fantastic Easter Monday. Make the most of all the bargains that we have on the website and any of the deals you may find. Check out Fabric Clearance. 
the deals page, all of those places. Things get squirreled away in there and you don't necessarily know about them. Um, and in the meantime, yes, we're going to go and eat some chocolate. Absolutely. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.